What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, okay? And I'm a little frustrated right now because <laughs> I didn't try to record this reading. I don't know how many times I didn't got a distraction. First, my daughter them got the crying because they wanted some chips, so I had to cut it off and start over. Then I got a phone call. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is the Com Comedic Medium Prophetess, okay? I do not read tarot cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. Okay, let's pray. Holy Spirit, holy angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Metrion. I ask you to send your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages. Protect me, protect me in my crown chakra. Protect me as I can deliver these messages. Okay. Let's see what's going on for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Now, I've been channeling this song by Erica Badu. I'm going to sing it again, even though y'all don't know I've been sung it for the last 50 million times. <laughs> but the song is, love of my life, you are my friend. Love of my life. So this is a love reading. Listen, you guys have manifested a new love. I don't know if you're already with this person or you're about to be with this person. I'm hearing that this could be for a lot of singles. Okay, but I feel like there is a group of people here that are doing spell work to try to drop to try to block two people from coming into union. I don't know if you know this person or you're in a relationship with this person, or this could be somebody from your past, but this is not somebody that has done spell work on you. This is not somebody that has manipulated you. This is the love of your life. That's what I'm hearing. Love of my life. Yeah, okay. I'm hearing king of wands to the queen of wands. I'm hearing empress to the emperor. Okay. Yeah, we have the king of pentacles here. Somebody is very wealthy as well. Somebody could like music. Somebody could be a musician. Somebody could be a star. Somebody could be in the spotlight. Okay. Somebody may like country music. Somebody may like rap music or pop. Somebody may like all different genres of music. Somebody is very eclectic here. Okay. What is this spirit? Yeah, we have the... Yeah, this is a lot of goddamn people. We got the six of wands here. I'm hearing like me against the world. Okay. Why? I This is what I want to know. Because I feel like this is a beautiful energy here. But like what I want to know is, it's like, why are these people? I feel like this is a, this is what spirit is telling me. This is a spiritual battle here. Okay. I'm hearing battle of the sexes as well. I feel like this is a spiritual battle here, man. I feel like this is going on in the spirit. I feel like there are several people, you know what, all of these people that's working together, there's several people here that possibly don't even know each other. You see all these hands right here? Look at all these people. It's like you and this, you and your person, right? You and divine feminine, divine masculine, both of you all could, both of you all could be single. And there's several people here that's working in the spirit to try to block and stop you guys. These people possibly don't even know each other. These people could be doing this individually or they could be working in cahoots. Either way it go, it's nothing going to stop. It's not, I'm here. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Nothing is going to stop this, this destined partnership, this destined union. Hold on, you guys. I need to cleanse this energy, y'all, because I've been getting distracted, distracted, Okay. I just keep hearing love of my life. You are my friend. Love of my life. You no, no, no. I'll be girl. I don't know the words. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I don't know, but man, this is a beautiful love story. I'm hearing something about like major exposure all over the world. Something may end up going viral. Okay, I keep seeing the Eiffel Tower in my head. You're most definitely going to have a family with this person, a couple children, maybe two or three. Okay, this could even be same sex as well, but I'm not really picking up on that. I just keep hearing love of my life. Okay, ooh, whoever this love of your life is is a wealthy man. I told you they were a king of pentacles. Somebody is very wealthy. Somebody is very successful. I'm hearing I choose you. I'm hearing that song by Keisha Cole. I choose you. So somebody chooses you. Yeah. 
such a provider. I'm getting song downloads, y'all. So many things he does for me. Such a provider. He cares for me. So somebody may be a really good provider. Okay. Wealthy man here. Somebody's going to be a great provider, a great husband. Somebody is about to send you a message here. This lover. Okay. I'm getting downloads, y'all, heavily. Whoever this lover is, somebody has been watching you. They have manifested you. I feel like you guys have manifested in each other. I feel like something has been orchestrated in the heavens, okay? Because I just keep hearing love of my life. This is a love of a lifetime that nobody can stop, okay? We have a chain changer. Expect a great change, okay? And great fortune as well, okay? I feel like, yeah, somebody could be incarcerated here. We have the we have imprisonment here. I'm seeing two do I'm seeing two two different things with this car. You could actually have a spouse or a lover. You could possibly know this person, so your your person could be incarcerated or something. They can be in prison, or you don't even know this person and they could be locked up. I'm also hearing there could be somebody else that's trying to cock block. I've been picking up on cock block energy for days. There could be somebody else that's trying to cock block this union. This motherfucker may end up going to jail. This is the this is spirit is gonna remove this person out the way. Okay, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, or this could be an ex-lover that's trying to block and stop your love life. Okay, somebody is probably gonna end up snitching on this person. Whoever this false person is, I'm hearing false twin or false karmic or whatever like that. This false person, whoever this false person is. Now, listen, this don't have to be an ex-lover. This could be anybody, but I'm here, I'm seeing a snitch here with this rat. Somebody is going to tell on somebody. I feel like this is this person's karma for trying to block and stop your love life here with the lovers okay so expect some type of great change so if you're single i feel like the reason that you could be single is because I'm, my ears is starting to ring okay my left ear is starting to ring but i feel like the reason that you guys are i'm seeing i'm hearing like a train in my ear hold on okay i feel like yeah it's like you it's like you and your divine counterpart are on some type of sacred journey some type of pathway here i gotta give my gay oracles hold on uh oh, I feel like, yeah, eternal love. This is a love of a lifetime. You see how that flew out just like that? Okay, I feel like the reason that your love life has been blocked, okay, and stopped because it's not only, there's several people here that's doing some type of love spell or some type of magic to try to stop you and your twin flame, your two twin, your true twin flames from coming together, your true high level soulmate, okay? But Spirit is saying, don't worry, continue, because look, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You see this? It says perception beyond the veil of illusion. That's why Spirit kept stopping. Oh, shoot, my glasses. Anyways, but that's how spirits uh, kept stopping this goddamn reading because he wanted me to use, they wanted me to use these Gaia oracles. But we have perception beyond the veil of illusion. You, I feel like you can intuitively, it's like you could possibly intuitively pick up what's going on. To me, this, to me, this is what I'm seeing. This is a spiritual battle. You see all of these hands here? All of these many hands, this is a lot of people that's trying to block and stop. You see what I'm saying? But you guys are master shapeshifters. These people, these karmics here, these reptilians, these demons here, they could be master shapeshifters as well. Because you see this mask right here? You see that? You see how that that, look, that looks like shapeshifting? And you see all of these people, they keep trying to do spell work with these wands and these witchcraft to manipulate divine feminine, divine masculine, but they're one. They're joined together. Do that, do that make sense? Okay, you guys are enlightened. You guys can see beyond the veil of illusion okay with perception here okay but i feel like there's somebody in particular that could be a lover okay or somebody that's out of this group there's somebody in particular that's gonna have to go to jail because i feel like i feel like i'm hearing i'm gonna be fresh as hell let the feds watch i'm always hearing that okay this could be an ex-lover male or female their friends are about to snitch on them somebody could have been drug trafficking human trafficking they're they've been doing something somebody has been doing a lot of illegal activity somebody's house is being watched as well i feel like there could be a feds truck that's watching somebody's house i'm seeing a white van with cameras in it and a computer the Fez is watching this person's house. I feel like somebody's lover could actually be in on this. I feel like somebody has a somebody is connected to a hair fan. 
Somebody is very powerful here. Okay, they're on a sacred journey with you as well. You guys are one in the spirit. Even if you don't know this person, you guys are extremely connected in the spirit. This person watches over you in the spirit and you watch over this person even if you're even if you're intentionally doing it or not. Okay, this is a love of a lifetime. And with this courthouse here, there's several people that's going to be locked up. I'm hearing I'm locked up. They won't let me out. Y'all know what I'm hearing though, like real shit. I'm hearing this reading is future. This is the future reading. Somebody could like the rapper future or somebody uh, may know future or something like that. Somebody could be a star or somebody could be in the public eye or they're going to be. Look at this spirit, baby. Oh, he or she is going to be so cute. Look at this little girl. Oh, look, use your imagination and you look at this sudden wealth. Look, look at this. Okay, you're going to get some type of message of concern, but I feel like this has something to do with, with the future. Spirit is telling me this love is for the future. This, this love is like very futuristic, okay? Okay, this is like very robotic, okay? And when I say robotic, okay, I'm, this is a, it's starting to get coded. When I say robotic, this love is like very futuristic, like back to the future type energy. Y'all ever seen that movie Back to the Future? Y'all know how I be talking about how I said like artificial intelligence and shit and how like in the future robots and shit are going to run restaurants and hospitals and nursing homes and shit. You don't believe me? I mean, just go type in Google and look at some of the restaurants over there in, the, uh, over there in Asia and Japan and stuff. They are already got robots running their restaurants and hospitals and, and whatever the fuck they do they already got artificial intelligent robots that's running shit so what spirit is telling me in this reading this reading here is in the future this is a love that's going to take place in the future not anytime soon this you may end up being with this person in the future but spirit is telling me yeah you're this mature woman here okay spirit is telling me here that um there's a lot of people that have to be taken out first, okay? Because there's too many people that's doing a lot of spell work. Now, don't get me wrong. Spirit is telling me none of the spiritual warfare fair is working. None of the spiritual warfare is it's not working on you guys because you guys can see beyond the veil of illusion with perception here. You guys are one. I'm hearing we are one. I'm hearing Frankie Beverly and Mays. Dun, 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 dun. We are one. This is a very happy love love situation. Okay, y'all know I'm old school. I be picking up on all type of stuff, but I'm hearing this love is gonna take place in the future because it can't. You guys can't come together right now, and the reason that that you guys can't come together right now is this is what spirit is telling me. These people have to be taken out. God said no. He's not gonna align. He's not gonna align you guys to be together. Now you could be with this person right now, but I feel like your wedding is not gonna take place in, into the future. That's for somebody. So just keep working and manifesting a life of abundance together, okay? But for some of you that are single, you're not gonna meet this person into the future. Don't give up hope and don't fold. When I say don't fold, don't end up with a karmic or a false twin or a false person that don't really want to love you. That's trying to love by you and come in and court you and date you okay there's a lot of people that, that has been paid by the community okay somebody could have been paid by the community i just did a reading like this similar somebody could have been paid by the community to try to set you up with false lovers either this has happened to you in the past or it's going on now beware of the shapeshifters okay i'm telling you see back to what i was saying confirmation these are a lot of shapeshifters but see you guys are the divine feminine or divine masculine are master shapeshifters you feel what i'm saying you can see beyond the veil of illusion none of the shit that they're doing none of the spiritual warfare to try to block and stop your love life is working but god is telling me to tell you if you are single and you're waiting on the love of your life or this person is not going to be able to happen into the future because some of these people got to be locked up and go to jail and some of these people got to be literally taken out even if that means a death period point blank okay because you are the you are the mature lady I mean, yeah, the mature lady, you are the, the the privileged lady, excuse me, in the wealthy man. You guys will become to get come together. And I feel like whoever this wealthy man is, this is a great provider. Okay, this is somebody that's a good father, a good husband, a good man, and they got a big in, in their their penis is good. I don't I don't know if it's big or small, but whether it's big or small, you're gonna like it. It's good. I feel like it was made for you. And this woman's vagina, this woman got some wop wop wop. That's some wet. Wop, 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 wop. This wop was made for you, and this this eggplant was made for you. Okay, now just switch the rows around. Okay, could be some same sex in here. I don't know, but just switch the rows around. Okay, this is orchestrated in the heavens by God. Okay, 
So we can kind of take the same sex out of it. I don't know, but just take what resonates, leave what don't know it. No disrespect from the, to the LGBTQ, but this was orchestrated by God, okay? There is a wealthy man here. There is a mask in here. They want to know if their privileged lady got some wop, 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 okay? Or even if you guys, if you that's if you guys don't know each other and this person is searching and looking for you. I'm hearing, there goes my baby. Ooh, girl, look at you. You don't know how good it feels to call you my girl. There goes my baby. Yeah, somebody said, there goes my baby. Somebody is looking for you. Somebody is trying to find you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So somebody could be looking for you or trying to find you. They possibly don't even know you. They're just looking for the one, but they're going to find you. Okay, and they're going to find you soon. I'm also picking up on stalker vibes. There's also somebody else that, that could be a stalker that you're not interested in. This could be an ex-lover from your past that could be stalking and watching you as well. That motherfucker, I'm telling you, somebody going to pr prison. Somebody going to jail for the, rest of the, for the rest of their life. They're not getting out. I'm hearing there's several people that got to see what I'm saying. Do you see what I'm saying? Let's take that as some confirmation, right? Family room. Okay, excuse me, spiritual birth. Your family could even be blocking or stopping. Somebody in your family could be paying false people to come towards you. You see what I'm saying? You see how I keep trying to put this love reading out and I keep getting distractions? You don't get married regardless. Marriage just came out. You're going to get married. This is going to be a beautiful wedding. You may, you may end up getting married on an island or overseas or something may be. Something may be on the world news on the or something that's going to take place on the world stage. Whoever the fuck this main male is, he got to go. This is somebody that's a master manipulator in a warlock. Or a demon or a reptilian, male or female, okay? Because I'm seeing a lot. Because Divine Masking over here, Divine Masking over here got a lot of Jezebels that want, yeah, that got, that's going to be taken out as well, okay? Whoever, did, I'm picking up on a feminine because we got the mature man and the mature woman. This is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Who, there is some Jezebel, there's a Jezebel-ass energy here. Male and female that are, that's aggressive as fuck. Divine Masculine don't want you. I feel like this feminine is pissed off and angry because they want to be the one chosen. They want to live in this big mansion or this big house. You only, if you're married to this masculine right now and this masculine is going through a divorce or maybe this masculine won't marry you and you keep trying to force this masculine to marry you, whoever this divine masculine is if you're in some type of connection or i feel like this divine masculine has separated themselves from this bitch whoever she is okay i don't think this masculine is married at all this masculine could be single and celibate so this is not somebody that's married either way it goes this person is like i don't know i'm getting distractions i'm getting distractions i hold on let me finish what i was saying and i'll get to the next download spirit could y'all slow down the downloads whoever the fuck this masculine is this is a real man i just want to say that this is a real man that's about their money about their paper they real and ain't even just about money this is a man that can keep their word this is a man that does not do spell work and black magic this is a man that has a close relationship with god with the most high this is somebody that will not stay attached to a jezebel ass bitch who want to stay you only got with this masculine to try to take this masculine money this masculine don't want you okay this masculine don't like jezebels or, or losers this masculine like queens okay and you're not it matter of fact this masculine like empresses let's just take queens out of the context yeah like i said you only want this masculine for their great fortune because you want to be taken care of or maybe you can take care of yourself you just want to be seen in the public eye this masculine don't want you expect some type of message of concern in the future though listen don't be disappointed don't be worried just keep working hard keep focusing and working on yourself divine feminine divine masculine if you are single okay or if you're not single and you're in a relationship with your person y'all just keep working together okay because there's too many false people here thieves that are trying to block and stop your love life and also trying to block and stop your destiny but i'm hearing it's not gonna work i'm hearing this is futuristic okay i'm hearing is it worth it let me work it i put my thing down flip it and reverse it it's yearning for money for friends and yet though that's what i'm hearing this shit is futuristic this is the gift the gift is not going to come in the future i feel like it has something to do with a glitch in the universe a glitch in the system okay a lot of these people are going to experience bad health imprisonment okay possibly even a death we have bad health imprisonment coughing there's too many people in your life and there's too many people in divine feminine listen 
It's too many people in divine feminine and divine masculine's life that's trying to stop and block. They're all working together and they're all master shapeshifters. And a lot of these goddamn people are being paid under the table to try to block and stop. The spirit is saying no more. No, no, no. You keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. I just keep hearing Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott, I like to get to know you so I can show you. Yeah, the community is in on this. A lot of people finna go down, down, down. Okay, a lot of people are finna be in despair. Okay, high honor. Da, 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 da. How I love you, see low, see low. Why am I hearing that song? And I like the way you... this is an old school love. This type of love right here is old school. It's like that '90s love. And when I say '90s love, you know that's not that old. That's not that much of old school. Okay, you know I was born in '92, so that wasn't number thirty years ago. But I feel like this is that old school '80s. I mean, I, I'm hearing put on your red dress. Yeah, that's that. This is this type of love. I'm hearing. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing Stilo. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know why I'm hearing Stilo. Why am I hearing that song? What is that about? Uh, Seven O Two. Yeah, but I'm hearing that song. By next, you got the love that I want, the love that I need. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, this is a, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful love story. Because I'm hearing, when I'm chilling with my homies, think about it. I think about you all day, yeah. You got what I want. You got what I want. You know what it is. It's there but the love. All you gotta do is hit me on my two way. And I will, I will. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a beautiful, listen, divine masculine. Divine masculine. This woman right here is real as fuck. Whoever this woman is that you trying to look and say, quit searching. I feel like everywhere this goddamn man masculine go they searching for this goddamn woman or they waiting some there is a masculine out here that's celibate okay they, they got a lot of goddamn money so divine feminine expect some type of unexpected income because it's gonna be royalty and wealthiness okay a lot of motherfuckers gonna be in poverty for trying to block and stop this union but this shit can't be stopped i'm here nothing can stop me i'm all the way up this feminine here is very real this feminine here is very real. This is the type of woman that ain't going to trip on you. You feel me, divine masculine? This is the type of woman that ain't going to trip if you go kick it with your friends. Because what do you say? When I'm chilling with my homies, think about it. I think about you all day, yeah. You know what I want. You got what I want. I feel like divine feminine. <laughs> divine feminine. You see, a lot of y'all probably don't. Y'all probably don't know that goddamn song for y'all that don't listen to old school R&B and shit. But I feel like Divine Feminine, this is the type of masculine that'll check in with you. You ain't even asked this motherfucking masculine to check in with you. You like, wait a minute, I thought you said you was gonna go chill with your homeboys, Divine Masculine. I know, baby, I know, baby, but I'm just checking in with you. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I feel like Divine Feminine, this the type of man that want to be bothered with you. You feel what I'm saying? These motherfuckers trying to stop y'all and take y'all union and stop y'all destiny and stop you from having this beautiful ass spirit, baby. Listen, this Divine Masculine is the type that, that check in with you. You don't even know why. This the type of masculine that'll kiss you on your forehead, kiss you on your cheek and be like, baby, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Baby, I'm finna go chill. I'm finna go chill with my partners. I'm finna go chill with my friends. I'll be back. This mature woman. Yeah, this man is mature. You're going to be like, okay, Divine Masculine, I'll see you later. Okay? As soon as Divine Masculine. <laughs> God damn. I'm see, I'm channeling right now. As soon as the God, soon as the goddamn. Damn, I can't even get it out. <laughs> soon as Divine Masculine get to his homeboy house or his partner house, his friend's house, he going to get to thinking about Divine Feminine. He going to call Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine going to answer, be like, hello. Divine Masson gonna be like, what you doing? Divine Masson gonna be daydreaming. I'm channeling right now. His homeboy's gonna be like, hey, Divine Masson, what is you thinking about? You daydreaming? You all in La La Land over there? What is you thinking about? He gonna be thinking about Divine Divine Feminine. <laughs> Look, I just seen thoughts. God damn, I just passed it. I just seen thoughts. Yeah. He gonna be thinking about Divine Feminine, ready to come home. He gonna pull out his phone and call Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine gonna answer the phone and be like, "Hi, Divine Masculine." 
<laughs> the mom family gonna pull out the phone and be like, hi, Devon Masculine. I thought you said you were chilling with your friends. I know Devon Feminine, but Devon Feminine, I miss you. I'm gonna come back home. <laughs> oh my God, this love is so inseparable. Or you could already be with your person. Cause I feel like some of y'all are already with y'all person. You know what I'm saying? This is what Spirit wants me to tell y'all. Some of y'all that are already uh, 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 with your person, there could be people in the community that could be trying to block and stop and get y'all to break up and do breakup spells. Yeah, you don't have anything to worry about. Quit worrying about stuff that people, just ignore these goddamn people in the community because nothing that they're going to do is going to work. Y'all continue to go on y'all journey. Now, for some of y'all that are single, okay, expect a great change, okay? But I'm hearing it's not going to happen into the future because some of you guys are hierarchy twins. That's what I'm hearing. You guys are true high-level soulmates, okay? You guys are too powerful. I feel like you guys were put here to be like humanitarians. I'm talking to the divine feminines and the divine masculines that have not come into union yet. Some of you guys were put here to be like humanitarians, leaders, okay? World stars, world renowned stars, millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires. You guys were put here to change the world. This is why you're, some of you guys are still single and you're not into union yet because you have a, you, there's something major that you got to do. And this imprisonment card keeps popping out at me. Whoever the fuck this is, this false twin, male or female or karmics they keep trying to do love spells and spell work along with this whole ass community to try to stop stop these hierarchy twins or high level soulmates you motherfuckers is going to jail you're going to experience some type of bad health whether that's an internal gravely ill disease or some type of incurable std or you just gonna motherfucking die you got to be taken now god is saying this, this, this is it's sad it's sad because you want me to tell you the truth let me get a drink That shit, that's good. Goddamn. Anyway. Y'all want me to tell y'all the goddamn truth? It's sad because God really wants to bring this union together. God really wants these people to already be partnered up and in love and happy. You know, God wants to bless this union. God is ready to bring these two people together. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking to the divine feminine, divine masculine that's already with their person. I'm talking about, I'm talking to the singles, you know, that's searching for love and they can't seem to find the right one. God wants to bring these people together, but they he can't right now. God is saying, I'm not going to bring you guys together and thank God for that. Go get on your knees and, and pray and say, thank you, God, for that. Because God is saying, I'm not going to bring you guys together and hey, you guys have this great fortune and all these karmics are still walking around, messing around, trying to block y'all. You and these motherfuckers got to go. So the Spirit is saying, continue to work hard at, at your job or whatever type of work you do. Continue to focus on yourself. Continue to practice self-love. Continue to pray. Continue to manifest because it's coming. Spirit and saying, I'm not going to have y'all waiting that long. You ain't going to be waiting forever. You're not going to be waiting till you're till you 70, 80 years old. You're going to get, the love is coming. But Spirit is saying, right now, I got to take some people out. A lot of these people finna go to jail. A lot of these people finna be sick. They're going to be so motherfucking sick, they ain't going to be able to move or do spell work. They're going to be asking. They, they ain't going to have time to do motherfucking spell work on you because they're going to be sick. They're going to be hoping and praying and wishing that God relieve them from this inc incurable STD or this gravely ill disease, cancer, whatever the fuck, or whatever the fuck. Or so many people finna go to jail for working with your friends, your ex-lovers, your family, or whatever the fuck, or co-workers, or whatever. A lot of these people going to jail, hell, or whatever. I ain't going to say hell because I'm not God and I can't call judgment on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these people going to be sleeping in their grave. I'm just say there could be several family members here. Okay. You're going to get some type of message of concern about these people. Okay. Okay. You might. So I'm telling you guys said in the next two to three months, in the next four to seven months or the next next year or the next two to three years, I'm hearing maybe four years at the max. You're going to get a lot of messages of concerns. You're going to get some phone calls. One day you're just going to be chilling in your house or chilling in your home and you're going to get a phone call that somebody in your family passed. I'm hearing parental mental figures i'm hearing siblings i'm hearing cousins uncles aunts i'm hearing friends close friends you're going to get some type of message of people passing away yeah but spirit is saying it might hurt you you might cry you might be hurt to your core but spirit is saying he had to do this so you guys could come together not only is this happening in divine masculine's life this is happening in divine feminine's life okay now spirit is also telling me some of you guys are going to end up being in union early okay some of you might end up coming into union early, but you're gonna you're all, but you're still gonna get a lot of messages of concerns. Spirit is saying you're gonna be in this together. Spirit is saying don't don't worry. God is gonna send you a protector. 
a lover and a provider. God is going to send you a nurturer, somebody that's a good mother, somebody that's a good father, somebody that's patient, understanding, okay? Somebody that knows how to communicate, okay? Expect a great change. Expect a great change. Expect a great change. Excuse me, but these false persons, these false people got to go. These ex-lovers, these karmics, these false twins, these family members that's trying to block and stop your love life, your life in general, your destiny, they got to go. So this wealthy man, this mature woman, can be together, okay? And whoever the fuck this Jezebel is, this main female and this main male that keep popping out, these men that's operating in the Jezebel spirit and these women that's operating in the Jezebel spirit, these narcissists, go away. Who? But there's a female that's sticking out. This man don't want you. Or there could be multiple fucking women that this man don't want. This is a real man. And you're not going to run this man. You're not going to tell this man what to do. I don't even feel like you can. You probably already know you can. That's why you're doing spell. This could even be somebody's mother or baby mother. Somebody's baby mother. There could be a masculine here that got multiple baby mothers or some shit like that. And their multiple baby mothers could be working with their mother or something like that. I don't fucking know. But I'm hearing um something going to take place on an island. A wedding or something like that. We got unexpected income. We got despair. And we got marriage. Yeah, a lot of people. I'm telling you, a lot of people going to be stuck and sick and assed out. A lot of these people, it's like, I, I'm hearing, oh, damn. I'm hearing that song, we gon' show the world the definition of real. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a love of a lifetime. Listen, we gon' show the world. Yeah, I feel like this is like world-renowned, like a world-renowned relationship. I'm hearing there's up to five to ten. Maybe 11 hierarchy twins, high level soulmates. Some of you guys that are chosen, that are star seeds and shit, galactic beings like that, you guys have not come into union with your person because you can't. Because God is not going to allow you guys to be together with your person with all these karmics and reptilians and demons floating around. Let God do his work and quit tripping. Let God do his work and keep quit tripping and just keep talking and praying to the most high and working on yourself. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a, a, a hermit. Okay, get out. Enjoy your life. Okay, enjoy singlehood. Okay, but I'm here. You're not going to be single for long. Okay, like if you if you spend your time worried about being single and shit like that, if you somebody that's single, then your person is not going to come. I mean, your person is going to come, but I'm here. The more you keep worrying about shit you can't change, you're official. Do you not understand who you are? You're official and your person is official. You did the work. You think God is going to leave you? God will never leave you or forsake you. You think God is just going to leave you out in the cold and never come through for you? Man, look, sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Sit back and relax and enjoy the show. You don't have anything to worry about. Okay, expect a great change. Expectation. Okay, a lot of these people going to be in bad health. Like I told you, some of them ain't going to be able to do spell work on your love life and break up spells if you're already with your person or you're single. They're not going to be able to do that. They're going to be sick from these incurable STDs. So many people going to be on their deathbed from these uh, incurable STDs or these motherfucking gravely ill disease. I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot of messages of concern. You and your person. A lot of these people got to go. <laughs> the jail with courthouse or they got the gold they gonna be in their grave they gotta go god say uh, uh no more are you gonna continue to try to block and stop this union period point blank they got to go they got to go they got to go yeah hurt not my anointed okay hurt not my chosen one period point blank they got the fuck to go they did too much in 2020 they did too much in 2019 they did too much in 2022 all this narcissistic demonic ass energy this king of swords here all these all these swords and knives and they going against the chosen one and it's like you know what divine feminine divine masculine y'all could be by yourself okay you could be by yourself, but you official though. Ain't nothing going to stop you from getting off your throne. Or some of y'all could already be with your person, okay? Some of y'all are trying to conceive as well. You're going to get pregnant very soon. We have the star here, okay? Somebody could be in the public eye. I keep picking up on that or you're going to be, okay? So keep remaining strong. Keep keep standing in your power. I'm hearing some of you are about to get pregnant. So for those of y'all who are already in a relationship with your person, you're about to get pregnant. Or you could already be pregnant, okay? Or you, you could have had a miscarriage. I'm hearing and somebody needs to drink some sea moss, okay, in alkaline water. And somebody needs some yoni pearls. Somebody is trying to conceive and they're having a hard time. You're about to get pregnant by your emperor, okay? This is beautiful. This man is so beautiful. Whoever this man is, this is a man, okay? I don't know if you're with this man already or this this is your person that you're going to join hands with in holy matrimony, okay? This is somebody that's absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing. This is the type of, this is, the, this is what you call a real man. 
somebody could have military background or they could have a military mentality. Somebody is an official. Somebody is high ranked as well. Somebody is a hair offense. Somebody is like a beautiful man. Somebody is absolutely beautiful. And so is this empress. And this empress got some wop, wop, wop. And this motherfucking mask and eggplant. I don't care. I don't know. This mask and listen, this is somebody got somebody got some holy penis. Okay, your highness. <laughs> this is the type of penis that they did that. <laughs> This is the type of penis that used to get cleaned in ancient Kimmy. Y'all know in ancient Kimmy. I'm seeing that song, Let It Shine. Let it, let it shine. She's your queen to be. Y'all know like in ancient Kimmy, like the Egyptian, like the comedic kings and stuff. The, the comedic kings, the women didn't really do it. We pretty much clean, cleansed ourselves. But they had concubines that would clean and bathe the... um told you queen of wands that's confirmation concubines they had concubines right they used to clean and bathe the emperors you know but see the emperors they 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 didn't think with their penis they 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 learned how to think with their third eye okay a lot of these motherfucking concubines and shit you know let's talk about Akhenaten how Akhenaten used to fucking see he he if Akhenaten was stripping Akhenaten was tripping y'all my husband in my past life in ancient Kemet Akhenaten was tripping okay who knows? I could have fucked around and married a false twin. Agnaden could have been a false twin. I don't fucking know. But either way, Agnaden fell into temptation. But we're not finna get into that. Listen, most of the emperors in ancient Kemet and during the ancient civilizations, not just ancient Kemet, they had concubines that would bathe their, their royal penis. And they would bathe them and take care of them. And, you know, most of the, 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 the true emperors, they didn't pay attention to these concubines. They slept with them when they want to, when they wanted to. Okay, they would throw them to the wayside because back in them times, you could have as many wives, but the, but then again, you couldn't. Like when they meant many wives, they didn't mean like um they had they were married to more than one wife. They had a they only had an empress. They only had an empress during those times. Understand what I'm saying? But they did fool around with concubines here and there. Okay. But they only they would only do that. They wouldn't do that in the presence of an empress. They would only do that when the empress would go go to war like men. They would only do that when the when the empress was out of town, but the empress knew about it. These men were true men. They didn't lie. They didn't tell lies. They didn't have a bunch of hoes and they 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 maintained all of their women or their one woman. Some of these masculines didn't have they didn't deal with concubines. They just my bad, you guys. Shit, y'all. I'm sorry. Some of these masculines didn't deal with concubines like that. They just hired concubines to bathe them. They thought that concubines were beneath them. So what they would do is they would have concubines bathe their royal penis. They would have concubines bathe them. I mean, they would have them bathe them from the rooter to the tutor. They would have them clean in their butt crack. They would have the clean. I mean, they would clean their whole body and these goddamn concubines. They would just go, they would be in awe. They would be in awe of the emperor. Don't get me wrong, the emperors, the emperors had concubines too. These are people that was a part of the community. These are people that were part of the community. The empress had concubines too. She had all type of men that would fly over her. And, you know, the empress didn't walk nowhere. In ancient Kemet, the empress, when, when I was Nefertiti, please, listen, the, I'm, I'm talking about all ancient civilizations. Okay, the empress didn't walk nowhere. She was carried everywhere on her throne. She either either she was carried on her throne or when she went to war, she rode her chariot. Okay, so the empress and the emperor had concubines and they only dealt with them when their husbands or wives were out of town. And usually if you was a true emperor or a true empress, you really didn't fool with them at all. You just had them be your servants. You had them go get you some some water or some juice or food. Or you had them fan you. <coughs> <clears throat> or you had them bathe you now um the egyptian queens the the empresses they didn't have uh the male uh concubines bathe them they we we, we bathed ourselves we bathed ourselves and stuff y'all i'm starting to have an out-of-body experience and stuff but this is what you call a real man okay this is your royal this is royalty royal highnesses and stuff this is royalty this is royalty okay this is somebody that will not mess with concubines behind your back okay this is somebody that will tell you what the fuck they're doing and they, and, and, and that's what it's gonna be okay and then this is not somebody that's controlling either this is not somebody that will try to abuse you or break you down this is somebody will tell it like it is okay whether they wrong or they right they're gonna be open and honest with you okay you guys will have great community 
communication, you guys will have great understanding. And I'm not saying this person is a cheater. I'm not saying this person is going to cheat on you because I'm, I'm using those analogies from the ancient times. What I'm telling you is this is somebody that's enlightened. This is somebody that uses their third eye. This is somebody that sees beyond the, 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 the veil of, of, of illusion. This is somebody that operates in perception here. Okay, this is your great karma. Okay, male or female, you guys are equal. We are one. Okay, I'm hearing Frankie, Beverly, and Maze. You guys will be one. You guys will be one. You will be joined in holy matrimony. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands. Okay, we got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. You see how you guys can shape shift from the Emperor to the Empress. You know how to operate in both energies. Okay, but you guys got great communication. You got great understanding. Okay, yeah. You are the king of the kings and the queen of the queens, okay? Intuitive communication, I told you, look. Great communication. Silent whispers of the heart. Great communication, you guys. Great communication. We have sacred mother of the earth, okay? Your queen, divine masculine, your queen is mother of the earth, mother of the universe. She is the nurturer. She gives life. and She's going to give you a beautiful spiritual ba spirit baby, okay? So get ready for, for, for this great change, this liberation. You will be free, but not now. If you're not already in union with this person, you're about to be free. Love, peace, harmony, okay? You're going to get to celebrate. We have eternal dance here. Movement, will of life, path, least of, least of resistance. Yes, God is saying, no, just let me do my work. Look, I told you, Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. Let me do my work. So you, yeah, achievement here. Just keep doing your work. You do your work. God said, you do your work. I'm going to do my work, okay? You keep going because you, you're going to achieve success. As long as you depend on me and count on me, you're going to get there. So let me do my work. Let me work in the background and clear away these obstacles, uh, obstacles for your love life and your destiny, okay? That's all you got to do. And listen, for those ladies and men out here that's watching, that's going to watch this video and be like, I don't want my person cheating on me. I'm not saying that your person is going to cheat on you. That's what, what I'm saying is your person is not a hoe or a dog or a hoe or a hoe monger or a Je Jezebel, none of that. What I'm saying is this is yin and yang. Thank you, spirit. Yin and yang, creating harmony through balance. You guys will be balanced. You guys will understand each other. You guys will have a lot of intuitive and telepathic communication. You could possibly already be telepathically communicating with somebody you don't even know or you do know this person okay yeah we have attachment letting go of restriction of fear yeah let go of what longer no, no longer sell, serves you so your person can come in stop partnered up with these shapeshifters i'm telling you your family members your friends co-workers people are paying people to come to come towards you okay yeah but expect a great outcome we have the message positive news positive outcome the search feeling lost confused and lonely look look don't worry I don't know what else to tell you, but don't worry. It's all going to work out for your greatest good, okay? For real. It's going to work out for your greatest good, okay? Like I said, I'm not telling you that your person is going to cheat on you or nothing like that. What I'm saying is, is that whether you, because y'all, it's not going to, nobody has a perfect relationship, okay? This is a hidden gift that's coming in the future. I don't know when, but it's, this is futuristic. I keep hearing, is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it in reverse it. It's yearning for money, but friend, yeah, so, yeah, so keep focusing on healing. Okay, keep focusing on yourself, but listen, yeah, because you're on some type of sacred journey, period. Continue on your path, continue on your sacred journey, okay? But listen, like I said, no relationship is perfect. No rela relationship is perfect. Keep working on yourself with reflection. Keep working on yourself. Keep, can continue to work on your inner your inner peace and your inner self, okay? Because when you continue to work on yourself and love on yourself, it's going to manifest in the physical. You're on a sacred journey. It's sacred for a reason, okay? God puts you by yourself and have you work by yourself so you can elevate and grow and evolve. And then he puts you with your person. But I'm hearing, what I'm hearing right now is, is that it's not even really you that's blocking and stopping this is nothing that you're doing it's these people that has to be taken out first and like i said there's no you're gonna have fights you're gonna have arguments you're gonna have misunderstandings but misunderstandings excuse me but there will be intuitive communication you guys will, will see things out okay if your person is struggling in some type of area or they're dealing with something they're gonna come and talk to you about it y'all understand what i'm saying let me get off of here okay and Excuse me, Empress to the Emperor, okay? Empress to the Emperor, period, point blank, all right? A love of a lifetime, okay? Hierarchy twins, high level soulmate. This is a true twin. This is not somebody that do spell work. This is not somebody that do black magic. This is a real man and a real woman, a provider, a protector, a nurturer, a good mother, a good father, everything, all the above, and generational wealth and abundance. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye.